What's up, DTLR Nation? It's your boy, the Massive Olds King Flex, with another special edition of DTLR Radio Style Suite. And I mean, she's blowing up very fast. I'm talking about Tink. She's here. <laughs> she's to my right, to your left. How you feeling, Tink? I'm feeling well, man. I'm excited. I'm happy to have you here. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank You're you. definitely doing your thing. Your music is... It's, just, it's got so many layers, you know what I'm saying? So congratulations on Thank the you. versatility. Thank you. Um, but we're here to talk about the style of Tink. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe your style, you know? Mm, that's a good question. You know, for the most part, I think my style is very, like, uh, casual. Mm -hmm. um, I've never been an artist to, to be too flashy and too over the top with it. Like, I like being chill, reserved, comfortable. Nice. Um, you know, if I'm not in a sneaker, I'm in, like, a combat boot. Okay. You feel me? Ready so, for war, right? <laughs> ready for war, all that good stuff. But, yeah, I'm very relaxed and chill. Got you. And you're from Chicago, so would you say that Chicagoans would have, <laughs> if that's even a word? Chicagoans? Chicago ones, yeah. If you guys um have your own specific style? Uh yeah, you can say that. Uh you know, Chicago we definitely know how to um suit up and get dressed. You know, um a lot of the old heads, they get real clean and cut. Yeah. Um but yeah, Chicago has a style, you know, we we chill. I, I can't I can't really describe it. You have it's to come unique. to the city and check us out. It's unique. It is. Definitely. Um so does Tink have any favorite clothing brands that she likes to rock? I've never been a big uh, a brand head, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I could find a dope outfit whether I'm in like a five star, um, like you know, a, clothing like store a high or, end or a thrift store, you know nice. what I'm saying? Whatever, however you want to put it. But um, yeah, for me, it's not really about the brand, it's just about what looks good. No, no, no. Tank, Tank likes a good sale, that's what that means, you know what I'm saying? You, that you, too. you take advantage of a good sale, right? <laughs> All right. Dope, so I'm, I hear that you're a sneakerhead. Mm -hmm. So, what's your favorite yeah. sneaker brand? Well, I like I like Nikes. I like um, I have a few Adidas. Okay, the you know what I'm strike. saying? Uh, you know my Jordans, of course. But I've never been like the person to think like uh, one of these coming out. I gotta go get them. Okay. I'm the type to kind of walk in the store like, what is that? I just want it. You know. Once it's once when it catches your eye, exactly, right? Exactly. So, so what about New Balances? Because I've heard through the grapevine that you actually like New Balances. Yeah, I was at, in a pair of New Balances um at my recent show at the Fatal Port um during South by Southwest. Dope. But yeah, I do like How New Balances. How was that? Oh, it was turned out. We were having a lot of fun. Me and Timbaland were on stage. He was acting a fool. I was turned. It was fun. Timbo the King. Timbo the King. Well, speaking of New Balances, you know, myself and the rest of the personalities here at Detail already, we, we had a photo shoot today for New Balance. And, you know, we feel inspired that you just dropped by to hang out with us. So, those two right there, what you think about those two right there? They look very comfortable for one. Uh, I definitely can see myself uh, throwing the black train on mm -hmm. with a nice uh, jogging suit in the airport. Nice. Uh, when I'm running through. Uh-huh. Yeah, and those orange ones might be cool for spring. Well, those might just be a size. You know what? Those might be us. No. You might believe on those yeah, today. That's what's up. How'd that sound? I like that. What would you do with those orange ones? Because those are, you know, a standout pop color. I know. If I had to throw those orange ones on, it would be like, honestly, I would put that on with a oversized black hoodie, hoodie mm, dress, hoodie okay. shirt. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just go and just throw that on with the pop of orange. Oh, dope. Okay. So does Tank Rock sneakers with dresses or jeans or both? Like, are you the girl that will put on a sneaker with a dress? I would. Okay. I actually packed that in my bag. I'm, I'm on a uh, okay. promotional run right now and I packed uh, some sneakers with a dress. But you know, it's just about how you feel and you know, everybody everybody can. And some people can, some people can't. Mm -hmm. But for me, you know, I would wear a dress and some sneakers. Dope. So where's your next stop on this run? I am headed to... Uh, my hair is everywhere right now. Uh, where are we going, Leah? DC. DC. Shout out to Leah in the background. Yeah, She's Leah's hanging out. Yeah, yeah, we're DC. going to DC. That's okay. my next stop. Okay, dope, dope, dope. Rockin' City Festival is this weekend. That is, that is, and I'm sure that you're going to tear down that stage because oh, yeah, the crowd in, be crowd in the DMV definitely supports you and your artistry. So, um, who's your style icon? Like, who, who really does it for Tink that, that has came before you? done it for me you know there's so many people that just i look up to for different things mm -hmm. as far as style but you know who's dope to me kanye west yeezy yeah uh and, and that's like you know not just because he's from chicago but that man really does dress himself word um and he's not afraid to step outside the box very true you know and you don't see that a lot with the guys mm -hmm. you know guys normally tend to have a standard look like a go-to like what yeah they go you know an easy one too but kanye you know he's Stepping out at the box and doing it. You just never know what Kanye for real. You Would you wear the Yeezys? 
I would, you know, um, I've actually, I don't know if it's, it's true or not, but I've seen like a black pair that's, that should be dropping. I don't is know. It? Cause all I've seen is the gray. I've seen the gray, yeah. but i also seen a black pair that look really dope. Okay. Dope. Yeah, the black pair go crazy. What would you wear those Yeezys with? Cause there's such a complex, you know what I'm saying? Sneaker boot. Like they have so many layers to that. Like how would Tink wear that? I think I have to put them on my feet first. That's one of those shoes that you, you have to feel you it. have to put the shoe on first instead of the outfit, you know what I'm saying? That is very true, very true. <laughs> so as far as your video style, you know, in the Molly Love video, you had, you know, the sexy hood combination going on and then in the Ratchet Commandments, you know, you were channeling a little bit of Missy Elliott the Brat. What is your video style? Um, you know what I'm saying, like opposed to your casual everyday. Like, is there something special that you want your stylist to have you in in a video? Well, for sure. Um, you know, Ratchet Commandments that had a lot of dancing. Sure did. So you know, I couldn't just be in any any regular fitted jean type of thing. So I wanted to be very loose and playful and fun. Dope. Um, and we also had like an Egyptian scene, and they they brought out these dope um golden bejeweled uh pieces mm -hmm. it was just really fun um and as far as molly love you know i think i was kind of just in my stage of being between like kind of cute but with the fitted cap uh -huh. wants to be a little hood we still in chicago on a block type of thing so yeah it was all about like time and place every every different song has a different word, approach word is there anything like when you on the set is there anything that you know you see as far as that your stylist might want you to wear but tink just saying no tink is totally opposed to wearing something specific. To be honest, you know, we, we went back and forth, but like, uh, it was one point, they were bringing like hella heels okay. to, to the to the um, fitting. And I was like, now y'all know. It's, oh, it's you not, don't really it's like heels? It's not gonna happen. Okay. Time and place. You know what I'm saying? It's just time and place. Ratchet Commandments wasn't the time, Word. in my opinion. You know? I wanted to be playful and, and fun, not over the top trying to be flashy, sexy. It wasn't the time. Word, word. So you're known to wear the braids, the braids look, right? I you, do, you I don't have braids. my braids in the day. Yeah, yeah, what happened today? To my, you know, it's just, it's just beaded time. braids like, like that. Yeah, I have to get a break every now and then. Uh, but I do love wearing my braids and my beads. You yeah. know, I think it's uh, it's dope. Like you said, uh, they were doing that a while ago. Yeah, like Alicia, Alicia Keys, Keys, Serena Williams, Serena, Venus Beyonce, Williams. Beyonce, word. Uh, the Brad, word. Lauren had braids. It, it was a lot of people that, that did them, and I feel like, you know, uh, let's embrace that again. Yeah, like what inspired? That's what inspired you to bring that that old school braided look. Yeah, it was a bit of everything. I mean, before I got the beads, I was doing like the jumbo braids. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, you know, or the Janet see. Jackson for yeah, yeah, Justice. Yeah, the whole like, Justice joint. Word. Like, and I was like, let's take it to the next level and just be different, man. I thought it was something fun to do, and, and I loved them. Whatever. So we definitely want to see that, that braid look again. Yeah, Every look with you is dope. That braid look, I think that you own that. Couple weeks in, couple weeks out. Couple you know? weeks in, couple weeks out. All right, so look, here on Detail Radio Style Suite, we have something called Rapid Fire where I want you to say the first thing that comes to your head, all right? So check this out. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Seeing through people. Mm. That sounds freaky, but it wasn't like that way. Does that get deep? Uh, Meaning, do you want to see. As far as your brain. You want to see what yeah, they're thinking. Yeah, I want to see what you're thinking. I want to uh, see that mental picture in your head. Dope. Dope, dope. Because it might look a little different than what that person actually... Talking about. Talking about what they're walking about. They're looking at it. It could be It could be a lot of things. That's dope. Think want to see through people. Okay. The last gift you gave someone. Oh, the last gift I gave someone. I think I bought my best friend a pair of sneakers. Okay. Yeah. Just random or a birthday, any special occasion? Um, I just grabbed them for so I Tink is thoughtful. Tink is thoughtful. Yes. So I don't know. Okay, okay. Make sure you got the right size. <laughs> if you are, um, if you were not in the music industry, what would you be doing? And I know that that's a tough question because I'm sure that this has been a passion of yours since birth, since you can sing, since you can open up your mouth. What would you be doing? You know, before I got into rapping, I actually wanted to go into the field of um, broadcast, whether that be TV hosting mm -hmm. or um, you know radio hosting. I thought I, you mean, my voice was kind of, kind of cool. Unique. Yeah, so I would definitely be probably where you are. Dope. Okay. Tink, tink, tink the anchor. Yep, all that. Dope. And the most yeah. overused hashtag. We know that social media nowadays is what it is. Mm. Hashtags like what? What just cringes your soul when you're scrolling through your timeline and that you just say, oh my god. You know what? I haven't seen it uh, lately, but when I used to see the word like, I hate, I hate seeing this, but when people used to be like. Swag. Swag. It's okay. just like, you know, the captions should say, say yeah. it all. You don't have to put you, be Be, be more in incognito with it. Yeah, yeah. Let the, let the picture speak. Let the picture speak. 
and you don't gotta say the word swag. Swag just seems a little bit forced. Yes. Like you're trying to tell somebody, yo, I'm swagging. Yes. So, let that person define that. Dope. So look, Tank, how can people keep following you on Twitter, Instagram? Yeah, search for me, y'all. Um, I'm on Twitter at official underscore Tink. And I'm also on Instagram at official underscore underscore Tink. Facebook Tink underscore G. Check me out. Keep it tuned. Tink is being stand by a lot of official people in the industry. Um, albums on the way, I'm sure. I'm sure that there's some brewing. Uh, any album title that you, anything Think that you're thinking of? Think Tink. The album is called Think Tink. Think Tink. It's coming this year, very soon. Okay. You just gotta be on the lookout, man. I'm really trying to bring that real music back. No, and you're very versatile, so congrats on that. Thank you, man. Because nowadays in the industry, there's a lot of one lane situation going there on. There is, you know, people are afraid to uh, step outside that box. And it's Think Tink. A clearly a playoff of Think Tank. Think Tank is a playoff of, of the Think Tank, like as far as like a brainstorming situation. Maybe. It can be. It's whatever. It's you want whatever it you want it to be. It's the I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Tank. She's here at the Chill Out Radio Style Suite Special Edition. She loves New Balances, so those are her. She's leaving with those. Tank, yeah. right here.